Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another daily video. Today I wanted to actually talk about some things, some suggestions or some tips I have to kind of prepare you guys for the new update and for Heroes Festival. The update in the time of making this video should be in a few hours. Um, so there's there's a limit limit of what you can do to prepare, but I guess you can kind of prepare yourself mentally because it's going to be a lot of a lot of work, I think in order to, um, if you're planning to get all the gatitos and stuff. So, the main thing I think everybody is concerned about is, is getting a dark gatito and getting one with a square slot. Now, it's not too hard to do the fusion. Basically, the fusion requires you to get a Evil 2 Dark Cosmo. And an Evil 2 Dark Cosmo is actually fusible. You can actually fuse one of these. Um, it's not too hard to do this. Where the heck is the fusion? Alright, over here. So, you basically use an Evil 1 Cosmo. It doesn't even have to be... Yeah, it doesn't even have to be leveled at all. You know, some of these actually do need to be leveled for some of these fusions. But you use an Evil 1 Cosmo and an Evil 1 Kilobat. Now, the Kilobats are farmable from the Guardian Dungeons. So, you can probably get this relatively easily. Um, if you don't, you should add a few friends. And then, if they do some some random runs they might come across the kilobat guardian dungeon and i know a lot of you guys are really really new i keep getting comments recently of people that have only been playing for a few days but you can actually get um, guardian dungeons for the kilobats and you get pieces i think 15 pieces for for a kilobat summon so it's not too hard it's actually pretty easy um i think you can get a dark You can get Dark Kilobats, but the Light Kilobats you have to get there. Alright, so the Dark Kilobats are from here, um, the Light Kilobats are from the Guardian Dungeon. Okay, I actually forgot that for a second, but it's pretty easy. It's not too hard for you to at least get one Dark Cosmo. And Cosmos are also farmable, so you can get the Cosmos on Star Sanctuary. And what the fusion requires is an Evil 2 Cosmo. So you will need to catch at least three more Cosmos here and you will feed them into your Dark Cosmo to make your Dark Cosmo Evo 2 and then um, you, f you feed your Fire Gatito and, and the Dark Cosmo and the fusion costs 100,000 um, 100, in order to do the fusion and then it will spawn a Dark Gatito. So I think, the, I think it requires you to have the Fire Gatito also at Evo 2 so you will need to catch a, like at least um, 4 of those. It's not too hard, you should definitely be able to to catch one pretty easily. Um, I won't say it's like super easy, but like if you play for like a whole entire day of just farming story maps, like you should get your Dark Gatito on the first day. Um, and I think that's probably the most important thing. There's also, um, I think what I also want to do is for collection purposes, I do want to try to get all the other Gatitos. If you're very serious about the game, um, I would say grab the wood and water gatitos as well because the wood and water gatitos are also very very strong let me just explain for a little bit i mean a lot of this is common knowledge for people that have been playing for a long time but a lot of you guys have also um you know a lot of the questions i get are from players that have only been playing started recently so the reason why the water gatito is really really strong is because he has a 100% attack down for two turns. Now this is super super valuable. I don't think any... there's only one other monster that has a skill of this level and that that's the Dark Leo. 100% um, attack down for two turns. And then everything else, like even a Nat 5, even even this only has a a 90% attack down, you know. So based on that skill alone, um, the Water Gatito is one of the best monsters already for, for clan battles because he's able to constantly keep attack down on the Titan because, you know, 100% chance and lasting for two turns meaning means that if he misses it for one turn, the next turn he can actually still apply it again. So he only needs to land it once every two turns in order for um, the Titan to be permanently attack down. So that makes him e extremely, extremely valuable for, um, for clan battles. So definitely if you have, like if you, after you grab your Dark One, because the Dark One's... Dark One is more important. Uh, the Dark One is a really, really strong nuker. But after you grab your Dark One, definitely do grab a Water One as well. Um, no other monster in the game. Like, there's only one other monster in the game. That's a natural four-star light dark monster that has a skill of this this level. Um, 
So definitely do get one. The other one you would you would want to grab is a Wood Gatito. Now his skill isn't as valuable, isn't as rare. There are definitely a lot more monsters with 100% defense down. But he happens to be wood, and I don't think any other wood monster in the game has a has a 100% defense down. So he's the only wood monster in the game that has 100% defense down. Now this is also very very valuable for the same reason that um, you want the water Gatito is if you have this, you basically are able to, if you land one, one defense down every two turns, at least one every two turns, you will be able to uh, permanently keep the Titan defense down. So this is also very, very strong. And he's, he's actually a pretty, pretty decent attacker. Um, I know Fatigue also works on the Titan, so that's, that's also not too bad. And Fatigue can help the t make, make sure the Titan doesn't um, get his bar up as fast. If you can land this on him, I think he only does the... The massive AOE like once every two turns if you can land fatigue on him. I'm not I'm not too sure about that. Um, haven't really done a lot of testing. So, but I do know that debuff actually does land on the Titan. So it's not it's not too bad. And the other good thing about the Gatitos is they're single target attackers on their second skill. So they actually do more damage because single target skills skill harder than um, you know to a single target it does more damage than an AOE skill. So. If you use the Gatitos in your goal in your um, not golem, in your Titan teams, they actually do more damage than AOE normal AOE nukers of the same level. Like say for example, you use some random, random uh, AOE attacker like this or something like that. Her second skill isn't going to do as much as the Gatito second skill because the Gatito has a single target second skill. So that's also one of the other reasons why the Gatitos are really really good for. For Titans, so my recommendation is after you grab the dark one, definitely do grab another water one and another wood one and get them to evil three. And that should actually like you should probably be set after that. Now, there's also the light Gatito. The light Gatito is is uh he's okay early game actually. I would say because of how he is a he's a sapper with a hundred percent sap for two turns. I think it's one sap for two turns. Um, he's pretty good for your dungeon runs early on, but he d kinda does fall off late game. I mean, he's the only one with a single target HP aggression skill. I mean, he he'll still do a little bit of damage, but it's really limited in terms of farming because it's a single target skill, and sap doesn't work too well on titans. Um, aggression is okay on titans, basically just means a little bit more damage. Um, nothing, nothing too exceptional. But if you want him for collection purposes, you can definitely grab one as well. Stat-wise, he's uh... I don't know, I don't like his stats. I think it's pretty... I think it's pretty shitty. <laughs> I, I think his stat distribution is actually pretty bad. For some weird reason, it feels like his... his it's like 400 extra here. I think just too much of it went into attack for a defense aggressor, so... Um, Stat wise he's not too good and he's yeah he's he's pretty bad. I think early game you can definitely use him, but afterwards um it's not it's not too too helpful. I would rather like I would rather you guys um take a water. Like if I were you, I would rather get a water and a wood one first before I even think about grabbing a light one. Because the, the water and wood ones are also usable early on because of the 100% attack down and armor break. It makes things really, really reliable. If you're running um, golems and stuff, you can basically keep the attack down on, or defense break on the golem at all times. Because of how they lower the resistance. I think the last one is the fire one. The fire one is almost completely useless. If you watch any of my videos where I reviewed the 2 stars, 3 stars, or... three. All the, all the monsters in the game, um, you'll know that recovery down is actually pretty shitty. Petrify on a single target, on an active, is also very, very unreliable. So, yeah, he's, he's pretty much garbage. I guess that's why they let us farm as many of him as, as we want. And that doesn't let us farm um, all the water ones. It would be really sick if you had like 8 water ones. Put them on all your teams. Like the the Titans always defense down on every single one of your teams. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the for the Gatitos. Now the other thing is Heroes Festival. Heroes Festival will be coming out on May fifteenth. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar, Heroes Festival is basically a special event 
that allows players to get more nat fives. What happens during Heroes Festival is you can do these 10 plus ones um, summons, and you have a higher chance to get nat fives. And for every Heroes Festival, the first Nat 5 that you summon, you get a bonus Nat 5. It gives you an egg that gives you a guaranteed Nat 5. So, um, it's basically a buy one, get one free, you know? And the last Heroes Festival, there was actually a, a thing that players found out, that there was a failsafe. For every 5, um, if you do 5 10 plus 1s, you're guaranteed to get a last, uh, or guaranteed a Nat 5 on your 5th pull. That's what... Um, all the players that um, have been playing have found out. We don't know for sure if they're going to be repeating that again. I mean, it sounds really, really OP because every single time, everyone just has to save up um, 3k Astro Gems, summon five times, and they are guaranteed to get two Nat 5s. If that does happen, we're, we're going to have to wait around and see um, after Heroes Festival. I'll be looking around on Reddit and everything before I do my summons, and then we'll, we'll, we'll wait for the people with, uh, with actual money to, to test it out. And when they say, when they give us the okay, we'll do the summons. And, um, yeah, you should, if it's, if it's the same as the last Heroes Festival, you should be able to get at least two Nat 5s if you have 3,000 Astro Gems. Now, if you're short Astro Gems, um, Heroes Festival is in, it's in four days, but it will last two days. So you technically have six days to farm... Um, 3,000 Astro Gems, and that's definitely doable if you're at the point where you can farm um, B8 under 2 minutes. You can also farm B7, B7 is also not too bad, but um, basically if you haven't watched the video where I teach you how to convert gold into Astro Gems, you can, you can catch slimes, catch, uh, catch anything, and then convert, use 3,300 gold to get 100 Astro Gems. And then you can use the Astro Gem to refill and farm golems. And then you will get more gold. And then you convert the gold back into Astro Gems. And then you make about a 10% profit every single time that you do that. So um, if you do that fast enough, you should definitely be able to make um, 3,000 Astro Gems within 6 days if, you're, if you go at it hard enough. So it's definitely not something that all new players can do. Because you need to at least be the point where at the point where you can farm... Um, at the very, very least, B7 and up. So you have to, you know, you can farm B7 or B8. B9 actually takes quite a long time. Um, but most people are farming B8. Last, when I, when the Succubus package came out and I had to farm the 6,000 Astro Gems, I basically stayed in B8 and farmed the Slimes the whole entire time. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, there's a ticket thing as well. Um, I forgot to tell you guys about the ticket. For, ticket's pretty straightforward. It's basically just... You get a, you can, I think it's only $3. Basically, it's a ticket that gives you a 10 plus 1, plus 100 Astro Gems. So that thing has like really, really high value if you're a little bit pay to play. Um, pretty much like if you're, if you, if you're playing, if you're paying a little bit to play the game, um, pretty much everyone that, that is doing that is basically buying it. It also counts towards your, I don't know for sure, but for me, last time, when I did it, um, it counted towards the fifth summon that gets me a guaranteed Nat 5. So I only had to spend 2,400 Astro Gems after I bought the ticket. So that's actually pretty pretty nice, but there's no guarantee. Um, I've heard some stories on Reddit that people had to do six summons or something like that in order to get it. Maybe they counted wrong. But for me, I had, had it on video. If you want to watch the old video of me summoning during Last Heroes Festival, then you can, um, you can see that as well. Basically got it on the fourth summon. But that is pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it for in terms of um, preparation for Heroes Festival and the Gatito event. I think everyone should at least be able to get one, uh, at least get one Dark Gatito, one Wood, and one Water, if they play the game enough during that time. You have about I think it's like ten days or something in order to do that. So plenty of time. Um, don't worry too much, I think you can probably, if you're farming at least, um, or like watching your, if you're even at work but you can like still watch your phone or something like that, then you can definitely catch some Gatitos and um, it's actually quite a lot of Gatitos if you think about it, because you have to catch an Evil 2 to do the evolution and then you have to, um, then you have to catch 15 more to get it to Evil 3. 
and then you have to catch another four more to do another evolution and 15 more to get that one to evil three and then you have to catch another four more to do one more evolution and another 15 to get that one to evil three as well so that's actually pretty rough if you if you think about it it's a lot of farming but um i think the order is if you can only get one get the dark one if you can get two get dark and water if you can get three get dark water and wood and that's pretty much it. So um, I'll be actually doing a review of the actual patch once it comes out, as well as um, you know give you guys some some tips. But for now, I think for if you're preparing, you can actually start farming and start converting um, your gold into astrogems to make sure you have at least enough to summon um, five times during the Heroes Festival. And that is pretty pretty much it. Oh, also the last thing is, if you do actually miss out on this Heroes Festival, don't worry too much, it's going to come back again in about two weeks. So if you are if you just started playing the game for a few days and you don't have enough Astro Gems, then um, I would say save it. Like, don't pop your Astro Gems if you can't do guaranteed to get... If, you're, if you don't have like 3,000 to do 5 summons, don't pop them. Um, wait until the next Heroes Festival, and then um, at that time you should have 3,000 and then you can it again and get two guaranteed nat fives i know it's a little bit boring but um <laughs> you know you if you want to get ahead in the game you, you got to make the right choices but that is pretty much it now a little thing about my um just about my channel update about me doing doing whatever is i probably won't be able to summon everything um in in one video because i haven't been farming golem as much i've been farming slumbering city for dragon sigils currently at 44 now it's it's hard all right it's really really hard getting these it's insane the like the how low the drop rates for dragon sigils are but i've been farming all day yesterday for them and then i did a few runs of golems b10 to get a few eggs um so i think i can probably do a summoning video once every three days instead of once every single day um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this helped you guys out and um, you know start start preparing for Hills Festival. At the time of recording, if you're watching this video as I put it out, um, the the uh, hero or the update should be in around a few hours. So um, probably take this time to start farming, start getting resources, start getting gold and astro gems, and kind of start preparing for Hills Festival and Katito Fusion. Because the fusions will cost a little bit of money, uh, you know, evolving to Evil 3 and stuff, and doing fusions if you don't have the Dark Cosmo, and, you know, evolving the Dark Cosmo from Evil 1 to Evil 2, and then doing the fusion for that, and then, like, you know, evolving your Katitos to Evil 2 to Evil 3 will cost a little bit of gold. So you de definitely want to stock up a bit right now. But that is pretty much it for, um, for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.